Now, again, as I mentioned, symbols are things that are used or pretty much based on the standard you're using, ASME or ISO. Let's take a look at a datum identifier. Now, this is going to allow us to select an edge or dimension and place a control frame symbol. Now, control frame symbol, as we get in here, let's start, let's select an object. I'm going to grab this center line here, and then I need to put an extension. I'm going to go ahead and just place this out here and then we can put a datum identifier. So if we need to place a note, if we need to place some additional information, we can use this to call out in this case, the center line of our part. So we'll go ahead and say, okay, as I look at this, I want to move this two to the other side, or I want to place it in the middle here. So that way, again, we're not obscuring anything. So now I have a datum identifier that lets us know that a is a center line. Maybe I want to place a datum identifier on the corner down here. I can put uh, an additional identifier there. Whatever information you need to call out, you can use these symbols to help bring attention to it. Next, let's take a look at a feature control frame. So a very similar process. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the bottom edge and we're just going to bring something down here and over. And once it's in the right location, you can either right click and hit continue or hit enter on the keyboard. Now this has a lot of additional information on it. Now, first up top, you see something called all around. Let's go ahead and just click on all around. When we use the dropdown for top note, you see a bunch of different symbols in here. We have one for diameter, one for plus minus, one for degree. These are all standard things that you should have seen before. But then we have one that is square. Now this lets somebody manufacturing this part know that this part is perfectly square the sides are parallel on you know it's all four sides are going to be either perpendicular or parallel with the other edges we have a center line reference all right so again this this line that we placed in here the datum identifier a we can put a center line reference because it's the center of the part in the length direction and we also have some additional ones such as position and counterbore. And again, these are all symbols that uh, you will become accustomed to as you start to manufacture. This is not a complete list of symbols by any means, but there's some in here that, that are gonna be kind of important. All right, so as we look inside of here, nothing is really standing out as uh, something that we wanna put in here, all right? So, uh, so none of these references for the top note really work out. Bottom note brings you up the same list of symbols. Um, and then as we get into our geometric symbols, these are ones that are gonna be more akin to things like straightness. So if the bottom face is straight or flat, we can put that symbol in there and then we can add a tolerance value, right? So as we look at the tolerance value, we can add plus or minus 0 0.001. And if we say, okay, we now have a flatness symbol that's calling out this bottom edge, and it has a plus or minus tolerance value of 0 0.001. So this lets, again, somebody manufacturing this know that the bottom is gonna be ground, and it's gonna be flat within this tolerance value. Now again, that is referencing that bottom edge, and that's letting them know that this is a very important part of this. Now this is gonna be something that bolts down to additional components, and it needs to be flat within this tolerance value, 0 0.001. Again, we're, we're dealing with inches in this file, so 0 0.001 inches. Now we could come back into our settings, and with our um, dimensions, we could show the units, and the units would pop up. They would not pop up on this note because this is a value that we placed, but it would show up on all the rest of these. All right, so we looked at a few different things here. We've looked at the symbols, and there's a last one in here that's a surface texture symbol that uh, we can place, again, just as the references. We need to put a point, and then we can sort of move it over wherever we want. And we have a couple other things in here. Uh, material removal required, material removal prohibited, or a basic symbol. Now, if we use a basic symbol, we have for instance, uh, roughness, maximum, and minimum values. And you can place, again, um, maximum of uh, 01, minimum of 001. And then we can, have, we can tell what kind of process. And then we have things like a direction of lay. If this is a 
specific direction that this needs to be ground, parallel to the edges, perpendicular to the edges, crossed, multi-directional, so on, you can put all these additional notes in here. And notice how this is displaying the tolerance values, plus and minus, the, the type of material process that was used, ground or machined or polished. And then we have the direction of lay, um, sampling length. This tells the person how much of an area they need to measure in order to get that value. Uh, because when you have a large surface, you can't necessarily measure over 24 inches. You might say, oh, you need to measure this value within uh, two inches or so on. And then we get, have some additional notes that are placed on here. But then we now have a note that gives us the information for a uh, surface finish. And that, again, it applies to a certain area. So you can tell somebody in this specific case, these inside edges need to be perfectly ground where the outside doesn't really matter. The linkage or whatever is going to go in here is going to go on the inside. And that's, that's really the critical area. So everything here, again, it's all it's all here so it can be sent off to somebody that's going to, in this case, machine this part, maybe weld it together, and they're going to understand what they're looking at here. They're going to understand the information that you give them, the references for the dimensions, um, and everything like that.